made it to our load up spot. Ginger has the pack saddle on. We're gonna load these boxes onto and the rest of our stuff. But we wanna make sure she's not overloaded. You know, the saddle horse, Gypsy, will be carrying me. I weigh 210 pounds, plus the stuff in the saddle bed. The Ginger, we don't want her to carry more than 150 pounds because her weight is not up there riding. Her weight is just dead weight. It'll be swaying from side to side. We want to make sure she stays under 150. So to do that, we're going to weigh everything we put on her to make sure how much is there. We got this nifty little scales here. I'm going to hook onto one of the boxes, lift it up nice and slow. And this gauge here, will tell us how much he's packing. You kids read it for me when I get down. That was like 52. That one's 51. So we're very close. Well, we're ready to go. <laughs> Let's go to some lakes. First test of any horse trip is the first water crossing. And we got ours right off the bat here. Right here is a good spot. You want to drink here? Two things about this one. It gets a little deep right up there. But we've got this long stretch of uh, shallow water. That way they can they can get used to the water before they have to step in anything that's deeper. Everybody says it's okay. We're starting out with piercingly blue skies. And that's neat. One, because it's pretty. The other is because usually by this time of year, which is mid-August, the forest fires and range fires have started. So the skies are not blue. They may be clear, but they're full of smoke. But today, doesn't look like there's any forest fires within couple hundred miles. Try that right there. Go ahead. Can't drink yet? There you go. Our pack is ridden solid the whole way. Haven't had to adjust it. That's pretty unusual. Let the horses get a drink here. Making our way up the road here. It'll turn to a trail here in just a bit. Just had an interesting aspect to the trip added on. I just passed a motorcyclist who said he saw a couple of bear cubs cross the trail right up ahead here. 
Bear cubs are never good because their mother is close by. And if you accidentally get in between them, you're in big trouble. So we'll be keeping our eye out and just scoot past this part of the part of the road as quick as we can. I'm right up there. We'll be off on that hillside in a little bit. Locks those switchbacks. We're down there just a little bit ago. Continue to climb, trail gets smaller. Mountain gets steeper. <laughs> Having good horses makes all the difference. <clears throat> Keep going now. Keep going. We started out as far as you can see down the bottom there. That's where we were this morning. We made our first leg of the journey. This is our first tough spot to get to. We came from way down there in the bottom. The lowest point you can see in a little bit past that. Horses and packs are doing good. Now we're headed up around the corner. We'll show you where we're headed as soon as we get there. We're climbing higher and higher. The higher we get, the rockier it gets. There's, there's the trail we on the top. That's how far we have to go. And we'll be at the top. The rest is downhill. Been a beautiful ride. Look at that sky. There is the Sawtooth Range of the Rocky Mountains right there. Here's a first look at our lakes right there.
spend our first night right down there at that lake. And then over there in that draw, there's a, another lake we'll spend at. And then if we're lucky, we'll go to the next hollow over there and, and another, another lake over there. That one's got a lot of fish in it. Working our way down to the lake. Well, here we are. We made it. That's our first lake. up there over the top of that mountain in that low spot up there everything's attacked doesn't even look like the horses sweat very much there's where the tent's gonna go there's a big old fire pit well better get these horses unpacked let him eat some grass before dark. Well, I've decided to take a chance. I'm turning the horses loose. And I did that because I don't think they want to go uphill. And if they go uphill, it's just to the next lake. So I don't think they'll do that for a while. If they go back towards camp and try to scoot out that way, they have to come back past me. And I tied that bell to uh, Gypsy. You can hear it ding in there. So I'll be able to hear them. As far as they know, the way home, back to the truck, is up over that ridge way up there. They don't want to climb that tonight. So I'm not too worried about them straying too far, but I'll, uh, I'll get something to eat and catch them before dark and tie them up. And, We'll head to the next lake first thing in the morning. Camp is starting to take shape. Get a fire going and heat some beans. <laughs> 